You're going to need to cut out two back pieces. Make sure you transfer your markings for your fold line. You're also going to need to cut out two front pieces. Next, you'll need to cut out two pocket pieces. Next, you'll need your pocket lining pieces and you'll need two of these as well. And then you're also gonna cut out one front band. This is cut on the fold. We're gonna start with step number one in your pattern instructions. With right sides together, pin one front to one back at the inner leg seam. Repeat the same step to your remaining front and your remaining back Once you finish pinning, go ahead and take your fabric to your sewing machine and you're going to sew along the entire inner leg seam with half of an inch seam allowance, making sure to remove your pins as you go. Once you finish sewing both inner leg seams, go ahead and neaten the seam with a serger or your desired method. Next, we're going to pin our front inseams and our back inseams together. Start by placing a pin at the center seam, pressing one seam allowance to one side and the other seam allowance to the opposite side. Once you place a pin there, you can go ahead and continue pinning throughout the entire inseam. Go ahead and sew the entire inseam with a half of an inch seam allowance. Reinforce the center seam by back stitching a few times. Go ahead and neaten the seam with a serger or your desired method. Next, we're gonna move on to the pockets. Go ahead and pin the pocket lining to the front with right sides together, matching the notches and the curve of the front pants with the curve of the pocket lining. Once you have that pinned, go ahead and take it to your sewing machine and sew with a half of an inch seam allowance along the pocket curve. Once you have both pocket linings attached, go ahead and press the pocket lining away from the pants and we're gonna understitch on the pocket lining really close to the seam line. Next, we need to attach the pocket to the pocket lining. So grab your pocket piece and place it with right sides together to the pocket lining, matching the notch. You're gonna pin along the side, the curve, and the bottom of the pocket. Make sure you don't pin your pants. You're only working on the pockets. Sew along the pocket curve with a half of an inch seam allowance. Go ahead and neaten the seams with a serger or your desired method. Next, we're gonna press the pocket to the inside and we're gonna baste along the side of the pants and also along the waistline. Once you finish pinning, go ahead and baste the pockets in place. Remember, a basting stitch is just the longest stitch setting on your machine. Now with right sides together, we're gonna pin the front band to the waistline of our pants. So with right sides together, just pin the front band along the entire upper waistline of the front pants. Go ahead and sew the front band with a half of an inch seam allowance, making sure everything lays nice and flat and you remove those pins as you go. Go ahead and neaten the seam and then you're gonna press in a half of an inch on the remaining edge of the band to the wrong side. Press the seam allowance and the front band away from the pants. Neaten the upper edge of the back waistline with a serger or by pressing in a quarter inch to the wrong side. Fold the back waistline along the fold line and press in place. Next, you're gonna stitch very close to the surged or turned in edge. 
Next, you need to grab your elastic that is cut by your waist measurement divided by two. Now you're gonna insert that into your back casing using either a safety pin or a bodkin tool like I'm using. Go ahead and continue inserting your elastic into the casing, stopping before your elastic goes all the way through. Stitch the end of the elastic in place. Once that end is secure, go ahead and continue threading your elastic through the casing using your bodkin or your safety pin. Once you get the elastic out the other side, you're going to stitch that end in place, just like you did on the opposite side. Once you've attached your front band and you've completed your back waistband, now it's time to sew the entire pant leg along both side seams. Grab your back pants along the casing and you're going to match the seam line of the casing to the seam line of the front band. Go ahead and pin that in place. Once you've pinned there, continue pinning throughout the entire side seam. Now we need to lap the front band over the back waistline, meeting the pressed edge of the front band with the waist seam. Repin that in place and repeat that to the other side seam. Sew along both side seams with a half of an inch seam allowance. Fold the front band to the inside and press the turned in edge along the seam line. Pin it in place. When you have everything nice and pinned in place, we're going to top stitch directly above the seam edge on the front waistband. Go ahead and neaten your pant hem and press the hem to the wrong side. Finish the waistband, top stitch directly above the seam edge on the front band. Once you've pressed your pant hem to the wrong side, go ahead and stitch that in place, sewing very close to your serged edge. Once you've sewn your pant hem, you're all done with your Gina culottes. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next one.